Hello class 7 students welcome back to the science digital class today we are going to start chapter 3rd of our science textbook which is fiber to fabric chapter at a glance fibers and fabrics wool mark wool silk engage identify the wool yielding animals in the pictures and write down where they are found so students identify these animals after looking at the pictures Let's start fibers and fabrics. Fibers and fabrics kya hote hai? Aaj hum ye padhenge. Most materials from which clothes are made, example cotton, wool, jute and nylon are fibers. Leather is not a fiber. So, zyada tar materials jin se clothes bante hai, wo sabhi fibers hote hai. And especially leather, jis se ki hum clo humare clothes bante hai, wo ek fiber nahi hota hai. Cotton, jute, silk and wool are obtained from natural sources. Cotton and jute from plants, silk and wool from animals. These are therefore known as natural fibers. Synthetic chemicals are also used to make fibers. They are not natural fibers and are made artificially. Therefore, these are known as synthetic fibers. Example, nylon and rayon. In your previous class, you have learnt about fibers from plants such as cotton and jute. In this chapter, you will learn about the two fibers obtained from animals, wool and silk. So, in this chapter, we will two fibers ke baare mein padhenge, jo ki hai wool and silk and which we get from animals. Se milte hai. Let's start with wool. Wool is commonly obtained from hair of sheep, goat, yak, camels and rabbits. These animals are therefore called wool yielding animals. All these wool yielding animals bear hair on their body. Wool is a good fiber for making fabric because wool is soft and provides warmth. Wool is resistant to fire. In this picture, you can see a wool. So, jo wool hota hai, uske kai sare achche uses hote hai, jaise ki wool fire resistant hota hai. Wool hume warmth provide karta hai. Next, wool absorbs good amount of water without getting damp. The air spaces between the wool fibers Create an insulating barrier which prevents body heat from escaping. Wool has a elasticity and drapes well. Animals that yield wool. Ab hume kis kis animal se wool milta hai? Sheep. Sheep are reared for their wool mainly in dry lands with low rainfall. The thickness, length, shine, strength and color of the fiber determine the quality of wool. The hair coat of the sheep has two types of fibers. The coarse beard hair and we find soft under hair that is found close to the skin. It is this soft under hair that is used to make wool. So, we get two types of wool. One is coarse hair and one is soft hair which is the skin. In this picture, we can see a merino sheep. There are six important wool yielding breeds of Indian sheep as detailed in the table given below. Rearing and breeding sheep. In India, sheep are reared in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim. Rearing of sheep for wool is also one of the main occupations of the people in the states of Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Gujarat. The best wool comes from the International Wool Secretariat, IWS member countries that is Australia, New Zealand, South Africa and Uruguay. Goat Wool is obtained from breeds of goats such as Kashmiri, Gaddi, Chamba and Angora. Mohair is the fleece of the Angora boat. Angora goat are found in the hilly areas of Jammu and Kashmir. The under hair of a Kashmiri goat is soft and is used to produce Kashmiri wool. This wool is woven into fine shawls called Pashmina. Or this picture mein hum ek Kashmiri goat ko dek sakte hain. Isse bhi hume wool milta hai. There are six important wool yielding breeds of Indian sheep as detailed in the table given below. Breed Bakharwal, quality of wool, woolen shawl, state where found, Jammu and Kashmir. Lohi breed, superior quality of wool, state where found, Rajasthan and Punjab. Breed Nali, carpet wool, Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana. Rampur Busher, brown fleece, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh. Patanwadi, Hoshri, Gujarat. Marwadi, coarse wool, Gujarat, Rajasthan. Camel. The fur on a camel is also used to produce wool. A male camel yields about 12 kg to 15 kg 
and a female camel produces about 6 kg to 8 kg of wool in a year alpaca and llama found in south america yield wool which is very fine soft and lustrous in this image you can see an alpaca goat angora rabbit an extremely soft fluffy and warm white fiber which is combed from the angora rabbit is called angora wool the soft white fur thus obtained is then spun into yarn that is used to make sweaters angora rabbit is believed to have originated from turkey in this image you can see an angora rabbit yak yaks are found in tibet and ladakh their coat consists of long coarse outer hair and an under coat of silky and soft wool the color usually ranges from brown to black in this image you can see an yak knowledge basket alpacas members of the camel family were domesticated more than 6000 years ago and raised for their beautiful and delicate fleece because of its quality alpaca fiber was used mostly by the wealthiest class of people production of wool from sheep the major steps involved in the process of taking the fleece from the sheep and converting it to create wool are shearing scouring grading and sorting dyeing and making yarn shearing the process of removing fleece from the body of sheep is called shearing the person who removes the wool is called shearer it is done manually with clippers or a pair of scissors it can also be done by using a shearing machine scouring the process of washing the sheared wool with soap water to remove dust dirt and grease to know and grease is known as scouring machines are employed to do this in this image you can see a shearing process and a scouring process grading Once the wool has been collected it is graded this involves grouping and sorting the wool according to its length color texture and ease of dyeing sorting the separation of wool into different quality fibers based on which part of the body it is from is called sorting dyeing the fibers are dyed in various colors depending on our requirements because the natural fleece is black brown or white in this image you can see grading and dyeing spinning and weaving the fiber thus obtained is oiled straightened washed twisted and spun into yarn the shorter fiber are spun and woven into woolen clothes whereas larger fibers are spun and knitted for making sweaters in this image you can see spinning and weaving processes occupational hazards of wool industry wool industry se kya kya problems ho sakti hain let's see Anthrax is a major health hazard faced by workers in the wool industry. Anthrax is a fatal blood disease caused due to infection by anthrax bacteria. Workers associated with sorting of wool are generally infected by the anthrax bacteria. Woolmark. Woolmark is a trademark owned by Australian Wool Innovation Limited (AWI). AWI licenses this trademark to be used by affiliated vendors on their products. It is world's best known textile fiber brand. The wool mark logo indicates the purity of the woolen fabrics being bought by the customers. This is a wool mark logo. Silk. Silk is another important animal fiber. It is soft, strong, lustrous and light in weight. Silk was first developed in China possibly as early as 6000 BC. Legends gives its credit to a Chinese empress Shi Ling Shi, though silk was first reserved for the emperors of China. Its use spread gradually through the Chinese culture both geographically and socially. Silk fiber is obtained from the cocoons of the silk moth or silk worm. The rearing and management of silk worms for obtaining the silk is called sericulture. Life cycle of silk moth. Now let's see ki silk provide karne wale silk moth ki life cycle kaisi hoti hai. The silk worm goes through four distinct stages. during its life cycle from egg to an adult moth the entire cycle does not take more than a couple of months the four stages in the life cycle of a silk moth are egg caterpillar larva pupa and adult the female silk worm lays many tiny eggs the eggs are washed and incubated at 25 degree celsius for best hatching percentage in this image hum dekh sakte hain ki kaise silk moth ki four life cycle hoti hain first egg hota hai then it develops into a caterpillar then it develops into a chrysalis 
उसके बाद एक एडल्ट बनता है एंड देन वो एडल्ट और भी एडल्ट हो जाता है एंड इट टर्न इन टू अ बटरफ्लाई लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ मौत वेन एन एग हैचेज अ सिल्क वॉर्म क्रॉल्स आउट दिस इज द लार्वा ऑफ द सिल्क मौत इनिशियली द लार्वा कैन फीड ओनली ऑन टेंडर मलबरी लीव द लार्वा स्टेज इज लास्ट फॉर अबाउट ट्वेंटी सेवन डेज आफ्टर समाइम्स लार्वे स्टॉप ईटिंग क्लाइंब अप टू द ट्विग्स एंड स्टार्ट स्पिनिंग द कुकूंस दिस स्टेज इज कॉल्ड प्यूपा स्टेज The cocoons thus formed are collected and processed. The silk moth continues to develop inside the cocoon. At the end of the pupa stage, the silk moth cuts the open cocoon and the young moth flies out. Silk production. The cocoons are put in hot water which kills the worms as well as loosens the filaments. The filaments are taken out from the cocoons by the process called reeling and filature. It is done in special machines. The result The resulting fiber is known as raw silk. It can be dyed into various colors. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are woven into silk cloth by weavers. In this image you can see a silk fabrics. Silk ki kya kya properties hoti hain? Let's see. Silk is the strongest natural fiber. It can be stretched to almost 25% of its original length. It can be dyed easily. It is extremely elastic. It is the smoothest and finest of all fibers. Types of silk. Silk के कितने types होते हैं? There are different types of silk which differ in quality and texture. The differences are due to different varieties of silk moths. The common variety of silk available in market are mulberry silk, tassar silk, muga silk, kosa silk. Occupational hazards of silk industry. Silk industry के occupational hazards क्या क्या हो सकते हैं प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सिल्क इज एसोसिएटेड विद सेवरल हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स सम ऑफ दीज प्रॉब्लम्स आर वर्कर्स नीड टू डिप देयर हैंड्स फ्रीक्वेंटली क्लीन बॉइलिंग वाटर टू जज वेदर द सिल्क थ्रेड्स हैव बिकम सॉफ्ट इनफ टू बी एक्सट्रैक्टेड दिस कॉजेस बर्निंग ऑफ स्किन ब्लिस्टर्स एंड ओपन वूंड इंजरीज द ओपन वूंड्स आर प्रोन टू सेवरल अदर स्किन इंफेक्शंस एंड डिजीजेस सिल्क एक्सट्रैक्शन डिमांड्स लॉन्ग आवर्स ऑफ स्टैंडिंग 14 टू 16 आवर्स अ डे workers need to focus on reeling the fine silk this leads to back ache and eye problems boiling of cocoons in big water tanks release lot of fumes and vapors this causes respiratory problems such as asthma and bronchitis machines used for spinning and weaving produce a lot of noise continuous working in such noisy conditions leads to hearing problems knowledge basket Tassar, Eri and Muga are wild silk worms. The tassar silk worms mainly feed on leaves of urgent trees and produce tassar silk. Eri silk worms feed on castor leaves to produce brick red color of eri silk. Muga silk worms found only in Assam feed on the leaves of som trees and produce golden yellow muga silk. Tech talk. CAD systems. Computer aided design. CAD a technology that eases the pattern making task for apparel product with the CAD tools garment patterns are developed in computer digital patterns can be easily modified other than pattern making these activities can be performed using a CAD solution pattern making digitization of paper pattern manual pattern pattern grading nesting market making fabric consumption moral learned Clothing can insulate against cold or hot conditions and it can provide a hygienic barrier keeping infection keeping infectious and toxic materials away from the body it can protect feet as injury and discomfort or facilitate navigation in varied environments clothing also provides protection from ultraviolet radiations recapitulation Wool and silk are animal fibers. Wool is obtained from the hair of sheep, camel, goat, etc. The process of removing hair from sheep's body is called shearing. Silk is obtained from the cocoons of silk worms. The production of raw silk by raising silk worm is called sericulture. Workers employed <coughs> Workers employed in the silk industry suffer from respiratory, skin and other diseases. Thank you class let's meet again next time in the next chapter